This abandoned paper mill may look like nothing but the remnant of a Wild West ghost town, rusting more and more with the passing of each day. Built between 1964 and 1971, the structure represents Japan's post-war industrial might, an economic miracle after the country saw the majority of its industrial sector crippled by Allied bombing during the war. The vast amount of buildings which lay quietly tucked away near Japan's Pacific coast is home to various vintage machinery, rare cars, and a surprising amount of people who have decided to call this place home, once again giving this building purpose. While its closing date is unknown, one thing is for sure. This factory will continue to decay at the mercy of nature and one day be a shadow of Japan's industrial might. We are Haikyo Duo. Join us as we explore the ruins. If you come in here in the dark, you probably just fucking fall straight in there. <laughs> Break your leg. Oh, Datsun. 120 wire and uh, a Corolla, maybe, I don't know, looks like a Corolla, K20, two door, 25, yeah, Corolla, two door Corolla, oh hello. This thing's a bit rare. This is a bit rusted. No. Here we have Volkswagen's Ugly Duckling 411 Type 4. Came just after the Type 3. It was caught up just when Volkswagen bought out Audi and the Golf came out, so this kind of got forgotten a little bit. There's one down here that's a little bit better. Someone's caved the roof in. But this is a 411 four-door. So it's basically an update to the, the Type 3s. But they started doing them in four-doors. Whereas, as you probably remember, all the Type 3s were... Two doors, two door wagon, two door square back, notch back, fast back. This is more like a fast back four door, but a, a face only a mother could love. So they didn't really sell that well. I think they sold, I think the best that they sold was actually in Japan through Yanase as an import. And that one's actually got air conditioning in it. <laughs> the green one, aircon back in the days, but. I can tell the difference old vlogs where he's like, they're the fucking... Yeah. They're built like a fucking tank. <laughs> it's a 411 LE automatic, fucking hell. I wonder why he's, I wonder why he's kept these old birds inside. He's not gonna, never gonna do them up. <laughs> they might have good floor pans though. So it's done eight thousand, more like hundred and eight thousand, I reckon. Very rare, but you can see why, because nobody wanted one. <laughs> so, dub enthusiasts are pretty fucking... Oh yeah, like, VW people like quirky shit, but... Yeah. It's like... Anyone that's into Volkswagens likes them all, but... Yeah, towards the end of the 60s was when they started designing the Golf. Yeah. The Golf didn't come out till 73, but it was penned in an idea, sort of, very late 60s, early 70s. This thing's got the Yonase cool air conditioning in it too. 
You don't smell like a old way. People walk. Fucking heaps of them. There's like a walk path. I just opened the door and a bloke's look. <gasps> Yeah, there's like a park there and there's a walk path right here with that white fence. I'm a bit sus because there's a big fucking drop there with just wood over the top of it. <laughs> so that sort of shit. We're just coming through here, like one of the bigger areas, and like going up like this gangplank thing. I'm like, oh, that place is pretty cool. It's like stepping down, step. and I look in the middle, and there's like this homemade tent and like a backpack, and it's like the thing sticking up like there's someone in it, and there's like a cooker they've been burning for shit on to cook, and I was like, fuck shit. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here quick. It looks, like, yeah, it looks like a couple of other spots too. It looks like people have been camping in here. So I think there's a lot of homeless people. We're here pretty early in the morning, so they probably haven't had a chance to wake up and get out of here yet. But mm. It's a bit sus, a bit freaky. It's more freaky in the daytime than it is at night. 
But I don't think you'd want to explore this place in the night because there's that many holes and stuff everywhere. Yeah. Like you'd easily fall down and bust your leg. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose it is a pretty cool place to camp if you have <laughs> more. Been through here when the fucking place has been hot. Now I'm fucking sure he's a belt. Let me go up here and have a look. It is the rule. That's when that's where Genshiro was born. A shop front. The windows that slide out into the front of it. They probably sell like paper to the public or some shit. <coughs> that place isn't like here because they've got their toiletries up in the fucking window. Yeah. I think it's just these two. It is the ruin. Oh, okay, so the guy was probably driving along just on public road. Yeah, he's probably just from up there, fucking cruising through. Cruising through the ghost. Scenic, take the scenic route. Oh, I reckon that's a fucking spot in the way it's too much around. Uh, 
It's a heap of fucking sheds full of fucking junk.